Hey everyone, welcome back to my small kitchen. And in today's video, we are gonna make homemade burritos. So the things you need for your burritos are one and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of tomato bouillon, four cloves of garlic, one teaspoon each of cumin and chili powder, and two teaspoons each of salt and pepper. Two cups of rice, three pounds of flank steak or any type of meat that you like, one onion, two tomatoes, some avocados, some refried beans, and some flour tortillas. You're also going to need a medium skillet and a large deep skillet. So the first thing we're going to do is marinate the meat. So we're going to get our garlics and we're just going to start crushing them. And then I have this bore here which I'm going to put the meat in. Get a nice big whack on them. I'm just gonna put in the meat. I'm using flank steak because chicken or any other type of meat that you like. Now I'm just gonna add in the seasonings and the spices in here. Just dump that all in. I'm just gonna mix this all together until everything is well coated. Then we're gonna set this to the side. So while our meat is marinating, we are gonna start on the rice next. So you're gonna get your onion. You're gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna start dicing this into small little cubes. Gonna cut off the end. Too big, you don't want to be too small as well. Wait, now I'm just gonna start chipping down. Just like that. Now you can do this to the rest of your onion. So after dicing up your onions, we're going to start dicing up the tomatoes next. So I'm just going to cut these in half. Cut this little end off here. And then we're going to start doing like we did with the, the onions. So it's going to go directly down all the way around. rest of your tomatoes. So after cutting up your onions and tomatoes, the next thing you're going to do in your large skillet is you're going to set it on medium heat and you're going to add in about a tablespoon of oil, which I already did. And then you're going to add in the onions. Just that in there. 
going to cook this for about two to three minutes. So once about two to three minutes have passed, the next thing I'm going to do is add in your rice. Add all that in there. And you're gonna cook this for another two to three minutes. So once another two to three minutes have passed, you are going to add in your tomatoes in. Your both bouillons. So you have a chicken bouillon and a tomato bouillon. And you're also going to be adding four cups of water. Let's give this a quick stir. And you're going to let this cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Cover it up now. So once your rice has fully done cooking, the next thing you're going to do is start cooking your meat. So in your medium skillet on medium heat, you're gonna start adding in your flank steak or whatever meat you're gonna use. I had big pieces of meat, so I just cut them up into smaller pieces like that. And I'm just going to cook this to whatever uh, temperature you like. I'm just going to fully cook these. So it's going to take about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to do this to the rest of your meat. So now once your meat has finished cooking, we are going to start cutting it up into smaller pieces. So I'm just going to do small little cubes. I'm able to bite them. Love meat. Love steak. Look at that beauty. Look at all that. Looks delicious. Should be a good size for the burrito. Small little cubes. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in this bowl and set them to the side. So once you finish cutting your meat, the next thing you need to do is warm up your flour tortillas. So on a pan, or I think people do it in the microwave. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on here. If you're doing it in the pan, you can put it on, on here for a few seconds so it warms up. Or if you're using the microwave, you're going to put it in there for a few seconds, for about like 10, 20 seconds. This one's almost warmed up. So now, this is warmed up. So now you can do this to the rest of your tortillas. So now it's time to assemble your burrito. So, what we're just gonna put on here is the rice. You're only gonna add a little bit of each thing, because then if you add a lot, it's just gonna overfill. You don't want that. Just add a little bit of the rice, a little bit of beans, and then your meat. You can do this in any order you want as well. Mm. So now, the avocado. So you could either do this in slices or you can make guacamole with it. But I'm just gonna slice my avocado up. Just do little slices. So I just made like little slices 
right here. I make three. So I'm just gonna scoop it out. Just lay them right here. You can also add some cheese or some sour cream to it if you like. Okay. So now it's time to fold it. So you're gonna push everything towards the center. <clears throat> then you get one end, fold it all the way, drag it all the way back like this, and get the corner edges, fold them over, and I'm just gonna roll it. Ta-da! Just like that. Now you have your little burrito ready. And here we have our finished burritos right here. Okay, let's give this a taste now. Mm. The rice came out really good. No, it's not too tomatoy. It's like it still tastes a little bit of tomato, or the fresh tomato that we put in there. And then avocado. The flank steak I put in here. Mm. That's really good. Right. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below to what you want me to see you do next. And check out my Instagram and my Tumblr where I'll be posting this recipe and my other recipes on there. So go check them out. And I will see you guys later. This is going to be a